Welcome, Cancer. If you are, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. In Cancer, while I was meditating on your energy, I kind of feel like you're been going through it you've been dealing with problems in your life you've been feeling like things just aren't going right um, there's there's something bothering you at the moment cancer I couldn't quite understand what that was but see we'll jump into these cards and see if we can get some clarity on the situation. Oh. I'm losing the cards here. I'm losing them. Yeah, four of cups. Okay, so You've been doing a lot of daydreaming. You have been deep in your feelings, I think. Contemplating feeling unfulfilled lately. So yeah, I was really picking up on the energy when I was meditating and that's exactly what was coming out. Let's see if we can turn this energy around. Uh, you may want to meditate or um, help yourself feel grounded so that you can get back to yourself. Okay, yeah. I feel like there's maybe been a lot of secrets lately. Um, you feel like someone's been keeping something from you. Yeah, it looks like this energy is going to be moving past you. And you may be receiving a message that will bring you more clarity to the situation. Yeah, the judgment. Okay, so. Yeah, you've been kind of feeling like things haven't been going your way. Like, you need to make decisions in your life. You want to bring change. Okay. Well, yeah, it looks like, okay. So, now you're starting out pretty grim here. Because um, I'm feeling, I, the, ju the judgment and the high priestess really aren't bad cards. Um, but I'm feeling like you're feeling kind of left out. You're feeling like you're being judged. You're feeling like everything is unfair at the moment. Um, and I feel like you think that, People are holding secrets from you like it's just not going right but I feel like if you turn this around and get a new perspective on the judgment and the high priestess they're really not bad cards the judgment it can actually be you having a wake-up call or making a final decision on something and um, I think that you really need to trust yourself. You need to stop overthinking situations. Um, you have a tendency to overthink and you have a tendency to kind of drift off. Um, but I feel like in the near future, you're going to have some messages coming through. You have the Eight of Wands and the Lovers. So yeah, this may be a love message that would be coming through to you. Um, this may be a new person of interest. 
someone who's gonna really lift up your spirit this could also be it doesn't have to be lovers this could also be a friendship this could also be companionship um, just you having fun and I kind of feel that for you I'm kind of feeling that you're in need of that right now cancer and the nine of cups okay all right so yeah definitely definitely you you are coming back to yourself I'm loving this energy the wheel of fortune all right cancer and the devil okay the king of cups And the Ace of Wands. Yes. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Two Aces back to back. Great. Great message. Okay. Okay. Now, in this second row, I feel like, okay, everything is starting to turn around. You. If it hasn't turned around, it will very soon. You have the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So the Nine of Cups under the judgment. This is something that you've been... Um, kind of contemplating for a while. This is something that is finally coming through. You finally have a renewal into this. And these are just... The, the works of your efforts, your hard efforts. So yeah, you finally have, you're coming into your contentment. You are feeling more fulfilled. And with the high priestess and the wheel of fortune, wow, that's some, that's some big energy. I feel like you should go ahead and Trust yourself. Trust yourself in your situations. Listen to your intuition. Don't ignore what the universe is trying to speak to you. Um, this looks very good. It, it's a, a change in your destiny. And this change is going to bring more contentment. It's going to bring more um, happiness into your life. Um, it could also bring you more favor. Um, it could be your luck is finally turning around. Now, in the middle energy, you have the devil. And the devil under the Four of Cups, I think that you need to just be careful that um, you're not obsessing over daydreaming about things, thinking about how things should be. I think you should just go with the flow. Because the devil, this could be a session. This could also be someone obsessing over you. Um, maybe an ex or someone trying to come back into your life. But I'm feeling like this could be your energy. Um, I feel like this is you obsessing or holding on to things that no longer serve you. And I think you should just move away from that energy. And... Um, Kind of get out of your head a little bit and just trust. Get out of your head and trust. Okay? With the Eight of Wands and the King of Cups, I feel like this could be someone coming forward. Um, you don't have a whole lot of people in this reading yet. You just have the King. So, um, I'm feeling like this could be a message from your the person that you have intentions on, should I say. Um, now, it, the king, he doesn't have to be a male. He can be male or female. It, the, the king is just very compassionate. He's very supportive. He's uh, very empathetic to, to, um, to your needs. So I, I think this could, this could go either way. 
But um, I feel like you're going to receive a message into this. And you're going to receive that very soon. Now with the lovers and the ace of wands. Oh my goodness. Um, the lovers. That card speaks for itself. But the ace of wands combined with the lovers. This is like magnetic. This is like a fiery, compassionate, just over the top kind of new beginning. So yeah, I believe this is this is gonna be an exciting time for you, Cancer, I think. <laughs> and then you have the Ace of Pentacles as well. So this may be occurring on a new job or this may be new money coming in your way. Uh, this could also just be a new beginning that's going to be more prosperous and happy for you. But yeah, I think that this is, wow. Cancer, you've turned it around. I'll give you that. You've, you've definitely turned it around. And I think that um, you're going to be happy with this. Um, going into this fall season. Make sure to make a wish on your Nine of Cups. Make sure to set your intentions so that you're manifesting the right thing. Be clear. You always want to be clear on your intentions. Don't just make a wish and, and not let it be clear and precise. Okay, let's get some clarity on these cards, please. I'm really loving this second row for you, though. All right, yeah, you've got the strength. So you're very strong, Cancer. Even when you don't feel like you're being strong, you are strong. You persevere. Keep moving forward. And show yourself that unconditional love. Don't judge yourself as much. The four of wands. Okay. So yeah, a lot more happiness. I feel like you're gonna be going to a celebration very soon. Or maybe you'll be maybe you'll be meeting this person at a party um, or at a get together. Some kind of celebration that you'll be going to. Wow, okay. And the hermits. So I feel like... I feel like you should go deeper. You should go deeper within yourself to find the answers to why things keep occurring in your life. I'm feeling like... Um, kind of the same things keep happening to you over and over. And I think you should go within a little bit to find clarity on exactly why that should happen. Is it on your end? Is it on someone else's? Um, yeah, you have the justice as well. Wow, all these major arcanas. Um, but I feel like you will find the truth you feel enlightened, you will you kind of do the shadow work so that you can feel grounded in this situation. Now this justice card, wow, okay. I feel like This is just balance. This is just you balancing out the situation. And this situation is finally coming to a head, I think. And so you're going to actually receive any outcome that you deserve. Okay. You have the three of wands and the five of the three of wands yeah I've, I feel like even though you've gone through these things you're pushing forward um, you're trying to build yourself up 
you're trying to find a new direction. You are trying to just get through the obstacles that keep coming ahead of you. And I, I think with the Three of Wands, you're actually progressing. You are, you're moving forward, um, but you're not really trusting yourself. And I think that you should put more trust in yourself. Okay, I need, I need one more card to clarify this, please. I need some more clarity on this situation. Okay, I need some more than one card, but I'll take it. Okay. Okay, the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Okay. Okay. Okay, I've, I feel like after you have done the shadow work, after you have contemplated and realized what has brought you to all these moments of disappointment, I think that this is something you should really look into breaking free from. Um, this is something that you should maybe let go so that you can gain the happiness and the um, contentment that you're looking for. I think with 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 letting this thing go, um, I'm not sure if it's um, something that's just bringing you a lot of disappointment or um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's a person or a thing, but I'm feeling like if you let this go, if you let it go and just move forward, it's going to bring you a lot of contentment. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness. And you also have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. So I think that it's also going to bring you more security. And you're going to feel more content with your life, I think. Okay, then, well, this is a very interesting reading. Which one do I want to choose? Let's see. I'll do the animal spirits here. Let's get some oracle cards to end this reading. I see better things coming for you, though, Cancer. I see it turning around. Um, you may have to make a few steps in order to really feel that yourself, but I feel like you are really progressing in this situation. And I mean, you're ending on the Ten of Cups, so it's gonna bring you happiness. You just have to, okay, that's way too many. I'm just gonna take the, take the first couple. Okay. You have the wolf and the ladybug. Let's see. The wolf is the pathfinder. Release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others to find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Persevere Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Okay. I love that for you, Cancer. And you have the ladybug. Good luck. You are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving and colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck. Okay. Okay, I feel like I want one more. Okay, and you have the bear. The black bear, the guardian. Gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. 
awaken my intuition and guide me. Yes, I, mean, I think that, that you should listen to your intuition more. Listen to your intuition. It's trying to give you good advice. Um, let's see. Let me up one more. A merry motive. Okay. Yeah, things are really turning around. And always try to have a spirit of gratitude. Be thankful for everything that you already do have, and more things will come to you. I think the numbers 20 and the numbers 43 may be very important to you this week. So take notice of those numbers and let me know in the comments if. if they're of importance to you. I would really love to see your comments. Okay, Cancer, this is your reading for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if this message has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any, any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on the situation. And many blessings to you. Love. My uh, love and light.